There's Officer Sage talking to Molly. I need to find out what he's up to. I sneak over to the listen in on the conversation. It's the same one as before. I saw you looking at the flowers. Are they for your girlfriend? No, they're for a colleague who's ill. I'm about to visit her in the hospital. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sure the flowers would chill right up. Actually, I'm not sure she'll ever see them. The truth is she's hanging on by a thread. It was a very serious accident. Listen in on that creep and check it out. We have things to click on. There we go. I was supposed to go on a hike today. But couldn't go because... Oh, what happened to the other thing that was here? Whatever. But I couldn't go because um, it started raining. But like thunder lightning I'm fine with it though I went on like a five mile walk earlier so I'm just chilling I do want to join a gym though like um if there's anything that I want to do you know if I haven't find a job it's definitely to join a gym I I really really I've been saying this for so long I want to get rid of these 15 pounds and I lost weight during the um quarantine and I want to get back onto it Medical science has come such a long way. I fell off a roof during a pool party and after a couple of weeks was as good as new. I appreciate the positivity, but I'm afraid the chances of my friend making it through the night are slim. Look at that smug little happy face. Wow, for someone whose friend's dying, you're really upbeat. I'm just focusing on the positives. My friend had a great life. She was one of those risk takers who whenever she sees something she wants, she takes it. What an inspiration. Well, I hope she doesn't die, but if she does and you need a date for the funeral, here's my number. Oh no, Molly. Thanks. Let me take your details. Then I really should be on my way to the hospital. You sneak outside. Damn, Molly is just in league with all of the wrong people. Officer Sage is such a creep. He is a creep. He's probably going to get really territorial of Molly, too. That's going to be the next thing. Everyone that Detective Sage, uh, Detective Sage, Officer Sage dates or sleeps with ends up dead, dude. That's just how it's gonna go. Did I? I didn't get any energy today. Will do. Receive information from Carlos on the phone. All right, give it to me. You know the information. <laughs> hey, nostalgia. I was at the mechanics this morning. Guess who I saw getting a dent in their car fixed. Let me guess, Officer Sage? Yup. At the time, I didn't think anything of it. Then Gabby told me about Detective Walls being run over. Oh no, Officer Sage is on his way to the hospital. I have to protect De Detective Wallace. Good luck. By the way, we're all getting pretty sick of this drama. Sort it out, will you? <laughs> um, I have about like eight more episodes left, Carlos. I'll try my fucking best. He's gonna fucking choke her out, dude. There's not going to be a Detective Wallace after this. No! Oh my god, that's so dumb. Uh, fuck. Shit literally happens at the worst time. Whatever, I'll build up jobs, I suppose. I'll do all of them, I guess. Okay, that's going to be in my living room. That's going to be a Shane Naomi. And this will be in the coffee shop. Okay, so let's go to the coffee shop. This will be a short episode. Not that it's a problem, I guess. And honestly, it won't take long for it to build back up. I still have eight hours until I have to come back to it. This is just such bullshit, dude. But yeah, I want to join a gym. That's on my list of things that I want to do here. Is join a gym. Life used to be so simple. Oh cool, I think we're finally gonna reach level five now. Right? 
No, JK, I'm not, we're not. Sad day. Um, but yeah, I didn't get to go hiking, but it's okay. I'm not upset about it. I honestly did not want to go hiking. <laughs> I was like, as soon as I like, I came inside to uh, my house or my apartment, I was just like, I have a feeling it's just going to rain. And legit, I arrived and like five minutes later, it started raining. And like, I heard thunder and lightning and I'm like, fuck yeah. I was really excited. Plus, I haven't heard thunder and lightning in a while, not since my first night here. I think I'm going to write then. Like, me, myself, not, like, the character nostalgia. I think I actually am going to write a little bit. I decided that I'm going to do, like, a small little, like, book, I guess, um, of my time here in Hungary. So, I mean, first I'm going to apply to a few jobs, and then I'll get writing on my book. At least I'll get some money out of this, so that's a positive. Fucking officer say she's gonna kill her. I just know it. Well, I'll see y'all next time. Okay, let's collect our payment and then go talk to that asshole. Officer Sage. I forget what we're talking to him about. Hell yeah! Awesome sauce! I'm now a police photographer. Oh, I thought that I was becoming a wedding photographer. Oh, I see. JK. Okay, well, let's start training. Oh, I just made it to 10,000 too. Well, sad day. Oh, well, it'll give me a bonus. Okay, what am I doing here? Oh, I'm hurrying down to the hospital to protect Detective Wallace. Whoops. Well, here's hoping, right? Here's hoping he hasn't suffocated her with the pillow. Hey, any news on my good friend Detective Wallace? You'll be pleased to know that she's been moved out of emergency. She'll be having surgery this afternoon. Unfortunately, we still can't allow visitors, but I'll let her know you stopped by. Officer Sage approaches. He is startled to see you, then quickly regains his cool. What a surprise. The sergeant mentioned you've been called... Oh, that's me. Whoops. <laughs> what a surprise. The sergeant mentioned that you've been called away to a family emergency. Fucking asshole. Take off that uniform, then. Why are you in uniform if you're not working? Yeah, it's been a hectic morning. I had an unexpected drama pop-up that I had to do go deal with. Accuse him of hit and run. Let me guess what happened. Did you have a... Did you have to get a dent in your car repaired? Goodness, what a random question. No nostalgia. It was nothing like that. Look at his shifty-ass eyes. Hmm, well, whatever your little drama was, I do hope it's okay now. Hey, did you hear what happened to that clumsy drunk Detective Wallace? Seems she must have stepped out in front of a car. I was there, you fucking asshole. I guess he maybe didn't run her over. He's shifty, though. Like, legit, he, ha he and I had a conversation. Like, this is what I don't understand. Like, he can't be that stupid. He and I had a conversation at the park. At the park, where I was just like, I got evidence on you, mofo. And then right after sh Detective Wallace gets gunned down with a car, like, um, hello, there was also me and Gabby standing there. Unless someone, like, stole his car and did the dirty work for him. Let's collect from here, too, actually. And then there was something else here. There was something else here bouncing around. Shit, I guess it was only when the doctor was here. Okay. <laughs> that sounds dirty. Well, it's been pleasant chatting, but I must pay my regards to Detective Wallace. No, you don't. Don't bother trying. She's not allowed visitors. You've wasted your time coming here. Actually, being a police officer affords spe special privileges. I called ahead and managed to arrange a private visit. <gasps> officer Sage leaves with a smirk. Oh, shit. 
Oh no, he's come back to finish the job. Oh no. Well, Detective Wallace, it's been nice knowing you. I hope he doesn't strangle her with a pillow. I really hope there's office, like, uh, security for that. Create a distraction at the hospital front desk. Okay. Where's Susan when you need her? she provide a perfect distraction. Oh no, help me. We've done this before, actually. How am I going to get Officer Sage away from Detective Wallace? No one will believe a police officer is dangerous. Brie and Susan arrive. Yes! My friends. We're here to offer our assistance. We're here to offer our assistance. We thought maybe we could guard Detective Wallace's room. You look awful, Nostalgia. Is everything okay? We have an emergency. Officer Sage just headed in to see De Detective Wallace alone. We need to cause a distraction to get him out of there. Uh, Bri and I could pretend to have a big fight. If we cause a huge scene, then he has to arrest us. Wonderful idea. Let's begin. Susan, I'm extremely angry with you. Oh, Bri, that was pathetic. That's not enough to turn heads, let alone get arrested. This is a real challenge. I'm so fond of Susan. I look at her and all I feel is warmth. Oh, that's so sweet. Women support women. Hell yeah. I'll set the scene. Uh, uh, Brie, imagine that Susan vandalized your prize roses. Uh, Susan, pretend that Brie is Mrs. Huber. Brace yourself, Susan. Oh my god, she slapped her. This is awesome. This is the best scene ever. Multiple slaps. Oh, and she's being shoved. This is great. I absolutely love this. Oh, this is a good time right here. Oh, I wouldn't have missed this for the world. I'm so excited. Objects are being thrown. Oh my goodness. That's so cute, though, where she's just like, I look at Susan and all I see is warmth. That's so sweet. I feel the same way about my best friends, actually. Ugh, take that! You've had this coming for a long time! How dare you! Help! These ladies are out of control! Somebody call the police! Ha <laughs> ha. I mean, he can still go in there, though. But, like, doesn't she need to be prepped for surgery? <laughs> nice choreography, ladies. I can hear people coming now. Officer Sage storms over with the doctor. Um, I probably should leave. These women were attacking each other. I've never seen such violence. Well, luckily, we have a police officer here to deal with this. How lucky is that? I hope we didn't drag you away from anything important, Officer Sage. I'm sure it wasn't that bad. Bree is a pillar of the community. I can't imagine her being a public menace. On the contrary, there's a side of me that sometimes loses control. Ugh, how dare you? Outline reasons why Officer Sage should arrest your friends. What a day. Life on Wisteria Lane and life in Fairview, Fairview just gets more and more interesting. It's awesome that they're willing to go to jail for me. That's really sweet. I'm, I'm just, like, beaming with pride right now of, like, see, this is why my friends should have been involved all along. This is awesome. Like, if Bree's willing to bitch slap someone to go to jail. You fight like a five-year-old. Yeah, well, your slap feels like a soft pillow. Please, Officer Sage, these women are out of control. Arrest them now or I'll call 911 myself. Okay, fine. You're under arrest. Let's go down to the station. Try not to make a fuss. Officer Sage shoots you a glare before leading Bree and Susan away. Oh, boy. What is wrong with people? How undignified. <laughs> oh, my God. Now, if only there was a way for me to sneak back to where Detective Wallace is. Oh. Detective Wallace, it's me, Nostalgia. You framed my dad for murder, remember? <laughs> what is it? Oh, uh, yeah. What's up, Nostalgia? 
Long time no see. Did you hear I got hit by a car? Yes, I was right beside you. It wasn't an accident. I don't remember a thing. You know, a lot of people want to kill me. The mob for stealing Officer Sage because I saw him kill Jimmy. But I put my money on it being Officer Sage. What makes you say that? He was in here just now. He picked up a pillow and said, prepare to die. Um, hello. I am, I'm just so pleased with myself. Myself only because I'm actually like guessing shit right. I'm so excited. Okay, well, isn't that enough for her to like report to the staff? Like, I do not want this man coming in. No, because then they'll be like, oh, you're being delusional because you got hit by a car. Luckily, he got interrupted to break up a fight in the lobby. Oh, my God. I am so glad. I really hope she doesn't die. I really, really hope she doesn't die. Like, I think the chances are very slim. I think at one point... Like, I feel like at some point someone will actually manage to kill her or kill my dad. But I really, really, really hope that she doesn't. Like, I've got, I've grown so fond of her. I know she's my nemesis and all, but... Okay, so this is gonna sound strange. I know she tried to frame my dad for murder. <laughs> I mean, she should have never, like, brought in the innocent person, but, like, I don't know. Okay, so... You're such a good friend. I don't know what I'd do without you. Lynette rushes in. Aw, she considers me a friend? What's up, ladies? Sounds like we've had an eventful day. So, Detective Wallace, that was a dirty move framing Bruce for Jimmy's murder. Tell us where the missing evidence is right now. You owe us. I knew it. The only reason you came to visit? I'll remind you that Officer Sage will come back and try to kill me again. If I tell you where the evidence is, you won't have a reason to protect me anymore. Sure, but if you give us the evidence, then Officer Sage will get locked up. There's no way he can hurt you from jail. Uh, don't leave me. P stay, please. I can't defend myself. Dude, of course we're gonna stay. Oh, God. Like, I really, really hope that our characters are like, okay, let's stay. Like, honestly, like, okay, so what I was saying is, I know this sounds really funny. Um, well, it's not funny. It's quite serious. I know that um, she tried to frame my dad for murder, which is never a good thing to do. You should never frame someone else for murder. Like, but at the same time, like, I mean, she was, you know, being selfish, of course. She was protecting herself. But you never know what someone else is going through. I don't know. I'm trying, like, I'm sympathizing with her so hard right now. I just also, it's hard to sympathize with her because she framed my dad for murder. Talk to the hotel receptionist on the phone. Okay. Did someone else come looking for my father? Hello, dear. I'm just calling to let you know those nasty thugs are back. I saw them going into Lucky's pool hall. Really? Thanks for letting me know. I'll go and catch up with them. I hope they're still there. Those thugs aren't going anywhere. I slashed their tires as revenge for breaking my favorite boss. Nice. You are awesome. I just come from pottery class, so I had my tools with me. It serves those bullies right. Well, uh, good for you. Thanks for the tip off. Have a nice day. It's so great that I'm making friends with the whole neighborhood. I have to go and check out the thugs. Better not tell Lynette. She'll freak out. I just got a call that some uh, friends from out of town have arrived. I need to go meet them. Please, don't leave me. I'm so scared. I'll be right outside your room. If Officer Sage comes back, I'll put my kickboxing skills to use. What about the thugs? They may send someone disguised as a nurse. You won't know I'm in danger. I've got an old baby monitor in my car. I'll set it up in here to keep you under surveillance. 
If it sounds like you're in danger, I'll barge straight in to save you. Aw, oh, Lynette. That's friggin' awesome. All right, let's go see who those thugs are. No! Oh, why? Oh my god! Oh my god, I have such a long way to go before 10. Ugh. I don't have the patience to deal with this right now. I don't even know if I can. I don't know if I can make this in time. What do you want, Mrs. Huber? I bumped into Lynette at the grocery store and agreed to babysit her kids. Then I suddenly remembered, I can't stand those little monsters. Why are you calling me? Monsters is a little strong. In any case, it would be wonderful if you could be a good neighbor and find someone to cover for me. Thanks, dear. <sighs> Gotta go to my living room. Like, why the hell is Mrs. Huber even calling me? She tried to tell the sergeant that drunk Detective Wallace was outside my house and talking to me. All she does is make my life a living hell. Great for a picnic. Yay. Give me energy. And now I'm supposed to help you find a freaking babysitter because you can't say no? So who do I know that would be a good babysitter? Okay, let's hope I can make this in time. I hope so. <sighs> this raising relationship in order to continue the story is such fucking bullshit. And how much you want to bet that after that one event... It's going to be eight hours until the next one. And once again, I'm going to be stuck with just like friggin just doing jobs. Mrs. Huber just bailed on babysitting. She said you were going to find a replacement. It's all sorted. Don't you worry. I found a babysitter for you. I'm so relieved. And I'm pretty sure the kids will be happy for a Huber free evening too. Well, you're welcome. I'm here to help you again, like, six more times. Whereas, like, poor friggin... Ugh, this is so stupid. Unless, is this a way to, like, gain relationship by any chance? I'm sure it is. Attend a barbecue... I guess we could give this a go. Yeah, let's give it a go. I haven't done this in a while. Hey, Nostalgia. I'd love for you... I'd love you to join me for a 4th of July get-together. We've been cooking up a storm. It's going to be an epic barbecue. Now, as for the dress code. Ketchup and mustard will be flowing by the bucketfuls. You've been warned. Huh? How the fuck is that a dress code? Um, you know what? How about I go and what I'm dressed right now? And then she's going to point out my flaws. And then I'll go based off that. She's going to be like, what the hell is this? Maybe I can search my um wardrobe to see what I have that's like 4th of July-esque. Oh, hold on a second. Well, I mean, here, let's wear a blue top. I don't, is there a way that I can see what I actually own?
Yeah, I'll wear white shorts and see what happens with that. Like, no matter what, it's not going to work out, so... Here, red, white, and blue. And it's not like they have, like, a whole, like, oh, this is what you should be wearing. So, alright, well, we'll see what, um, I need to do. Look at me, I look foxy. And then she'll tell me what I need to fix. Yes. I'm not about to spend money. I like this look. It's not bad at all. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but it's still good. A white shirt would have spelled disaster. Good choice avoiding that look. Red and blue are the colors of this nation. Way to show your support. Those short shorts look really cute on you and are practical for this heat wave. I'm happy you avoided wearing a long sleeve top. You're too formal or elegant. Sort this out. That would be the first problem to fix. There we go. Okay, so nothing formal or elegant. How the... I look formal? How the heck do I fix that? Okay, wait, hold on. So... What exactly about this looks formal? Is it my shoes that are formal? Oh. Okay. Those are also formal, so that won't work. Well, I mean, they're leather, though. Okay, I still need... Let's see, hold on. Ooh, cowboy boots would be cool. But they're brown. I could find them in red, that would be most epic. Boots would be so cool though. But they're all brown. This is difficult. I mean, I guess I could do with this. Ugh, whatever. Yes. And then we'll see what happens the next time. Hopefully this will work better. Okay. Ooh, cactus. Awesome. I'm stoked by it. Okay, so we need to up our friendship with Lynette, if I remember correctly. Um, let's go ahead and play the dress-up game with her again. There we go. Let's do that. Wait, that's not right. Whoops, I almost did the wrong thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's time for 4th of July. That's awesome. Yes, because I changed my boots. I'm impressed by your choices. That's a smart look for the occasion. A white shirt would have spelled disaster. Good choice avoiding that look. Red and blue are the colors of this nation. Way to show your support. Those short shorts look really cute on you and are practical for this heat wave. I'm happy you avoided wearing a long sleeve top. I'm glad you didn't turn up in something formal or elegant. This weather is way too hot. What's your excuse for not wearing sunglasses? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh no, a pair of sunglasses appeared before, didn't it? God damn it. Oh well, at least it like raised our friendship level. So I guess that's good. We can do that next time. 
What's your excuse for not wearing sunglasses? How dare you? All right, not clear glasses. We're looking for sunglasses. What a dumb thing to ask, honestly. What's your excuse for not wearing sunglasses? So stupid. Alrighty, well. These kind of sunglasses, right? I hope so. Well, we'll have to do a friendship game. Hey, it's Utter Bedlam here. My kids are either sick, need to be driven somewhere, or misbehaving. Yikes, don't forget to take care of yourself. That's why I'm calling. I fed them all, then realized my fridge was empty. Would you mind bringing over an emergency sandwich? I'll do even better. How does a homemade casserole sound? Oh, you're an absolute angel. Thanks. Nostalgia to the rescue. What can I say? What's your excuse for not having sunglasses? Excuse me, I'll dress the way that I want to. Poor Lynette, not even enough time to feed herself. Well, I'm here to save the day. And then continue the story, hopefully. I really hate this raising relationship level nonsense before you can continue with the story. Like, if I wanted to learn a secret or something, I totally understand raising the relationship, but, like, for God's sake, all I'm trying to do is continue the story. Hey, how did it go, Nostalgia? I have one casserole here with your name on it. I can't guarantee restaurant quality, but it's very tasty. What a treat. A nice home-cooked meal without the washing up. Thanks a bunch. For sure, girl. I'm glad I was able to help a little bit. Oh my god, I'm gonna spend this whole level on just making Lynette happy. I swear. I love how this is all because I hate notifications. I really do. Okay. <sighs> Alright, let's do more. Actually, how long before I can do the whole dress up thing again? I'm almost considering spending my friggin... What's, what's it called on her? Diamonds. An hour? Ugh. No. There won't even be enough for that. Hey, Nostalgia, ready for a kickboxing session? Always. I'll meet you at Fairview Arcade Fit. I was going to get a gym membership yesterday, but then they only accept cash. So I was like, well, I didn't have cash. Oh, shit. I just realized something. I have to go soon, actually. So it kind of works out. So let's begin with the right hand uppercut while you vent about which husband, which husband or child is annoying you. Which husband? How many husbands does she have? <laughs> oh, this is going to be a short episode, unfortunately. But you know what? Maybe this is fine. I think I'll just finish this task and then come back after the... Um, Outfit thing is refreshed, so then I could go a little bit longer. Oh man, that worked so good. I feel so good. Oh, that worked so well. Whoops. <laughs> okay, well, I don't think um, there will be quite enough, but you know what? Like, at least we did a little bit, so I'll be back in an hour. <laughs>